The children sat down and looked up at Mrs. D. As you know, said Mrs. D, tomorrow is our family Thanksgiving party for parents, grandparents, and babysit. Yes, interrupted Tracy. Tomorrow is our Thanksgiving party. And then Thursday, the day after that, is Thanksgiving, my big sister told me. That's right, said Mrs. D. And today, because it's almost Thanksgiving, I'd like you to think of something that you are thankful for. It could be anything. I'll write down your words. Okay, Tara, please begin. I'm thankful for my mommy and daddy, said Tara. I'm thankful for the sun and moon, said Joshua. I'm thankful for all my dolls and toys, said Danielle. I'm thankful for apples and chocolate cake, said Albert. I'm thankful for Mrs. D and my mommy and my big sister, said Tracy. Then it was Brendan's turn, but he didn't say anything. Brendan, said Mrs. D, what are you thankful for? I'm not thankful for anything, Brendan said as he stood up. I can't do anything I want to do at home or at school. Then Brendan ran away from the circle time area. Not watching where he was going, Brendan stepped on a toy car and fell flat on his back. Mrs. D and the other children ran over to make sure he was all right. Brendan was just about to yell and scream, but when he looked up, he saw the concerned faces of his friends and Mrs. D. Albert gently stroked his arm as Tara held his hand. Are you okay? asked Mrs. D. Yes, said Brendan. And now I do know what I'm thankful for. What's that? asked Mrs. D. I'm thankful for having the best friends and teacher in the whole world, said Brendan. The next day, the children's parents, grandparents, and babysitters all brought in special dishes for the Thanksgiving party. Everyone had a wonderful time eating, laughing, and telling stories. Then Brendan stood up and sang a new song. I love my friends at school and my teacher, Mrs. D. I'm thankful for my mom and dad. So thankful they love me. <laughs>